So hi, I'm Hugh Marceau. I'm a judge in the electrical powertrain subsection of Formula Barat 2021. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer turned out battery scientist turned out uh, entrepreneur. I have a company we're making um, battery backups for the telecom industry. Uh, and I'm very happy to be among you and to evaluate uh, your teams. Um, so I'm a Formula SE alum, alumnus. Uh, I founded a team in, I think, 2009 and built four cars uh, with a couple of friends. It was a great learning experience. Um, one thing that you have to take away uh, out of this is and there will be winners and that will be announced but it, it's but like my team it never won anything well barely uh, but I still consider myself a winner because I won what I learned uh, and usually the worst teams learn the most so um, keep that in mind that everybody's a winner I know it sounds really, mm, really pink and beautiful, but it's the truth. Um, so, um, like, I'm really proud of you guys. Uh, keep up with the good work and keep in mind that your work is, your learning is proportional to your work. So, um, the more you work, the more you learn. This is the engineering design review of the electric subsystem of Orion Racing India Electric Team. Um, Orion had a great battery thermal management system uh, and they used silicon pads to, um, to improve the cycle life of their battery um, because it reduced the mechanical constraints on the pouch cells they were using. Also, they properly explained to us uh, why their thermal management was designed uh, by use of simulations and calculations. Uh, one thing they need to work on is instead of um, using limited designs, um, just like saying like, oh, we have a choice between this uh, motor of 80 kilowatt and this motor of 80 kilowatt, uh, it would be better if they, uh, well, justify what is the um, best compromise in power, like what, maybe it would be 82 kilowatt. Uh, and then to take into considerations uh, the limitations of the choice they, they made. Hi, this is the engineering design review of the electrical subsection of Octane Racing Electric team. Um, Octane had a really good design methodology. Uh, I'm really impressed they followed a strict protocol. Um, something uh, that needs to be worked on is the lack of thermal management uh, in the accumulator container. Um, like I haven't seen um, proper simulations and calculations. Um, generally speaking, when they show simulation results without explaining the parameters, um, it's, it does not prove us that they understand properly uh, that the simulation has been done right. So this is something I would like to see next year. This is the electrical design review of the electrical subsection of the team Kratos Electric Racing Electric. Um, you guys had the best presentation among all uh, teams. Like I'm really impressed, um, hats up to you. In regard of the component selection, uh, it was very detailed um, all the choice were explained in matrix. I really liked it. One thing that I would like to see better for next year uh, is that I would like you to understand the intent behind the rules uh, and try to make a design accordingly. I'll just give you an example, uh, but it happened at so, some other occasions. So um, like in the rules, there is a like it says that a thermistor needs to be placed to measure the battery temperature. So if it's placed near the battery, uh, if it touched the battery, uh, it will pick up the temperature of the battery. But if it's a little bit further away and there's a lot of airflow, it will 
more measure it will measure the temperature of the air more of the temperature of the battery so try to understand better the intent of the rules uh, and it will greatly improve uh, your design this is the electrical design review of the electrical subsection of uh, dgs racing electric um, you guys have one of the best design i'm really proud of you guys however we haven't been able to score you um, optimally uh, because we don't have the right proofs that you guys are getting it um, so this is what you need to work on um, like show calculations show simulations show processes uh, and then your score will get better next year this is the electrical design review of the electrical subsection of IIT Bombay Racing Team. So uh, this team showed the best understanding of compromises between the subsections. Uh, and this is really the kind of um, understanding that I want and I, that I love uh, when there is like a um, bigger battery pack to compensate for more aero drag. This is where the best team shines. Um, to score better, uh, I would like to see more thermal simulations result, especially in the accumulator container and motor, um, showing test result, validation, calculations. Uh, it, it needs to be done to level up. So this is the engineering design review of the electrical subsection of accelerator formula racing. Um, this team is definitely one of the best team in designs. They showed us right design calculations and simulations. Um, an area that I would like to see improved is again in accelerator terminal management. Um, there was lack of documentation. And where your team didn't shine uh, the most is in the QA. Um, maybe because the presentation was a little bit too big and there were too many slides, you team members haven't been able to answer questions right. Um, try to improve this kind of presentation uh, and you'll do better next year. This is the engineering design review of the electrical subsection of Team Ojas. Um, great work team. Um, a common flaw of many teams is the thermal management that is overlooked. Uh, but one area that your team also overlooked is in regard of efficiency. Uh, I would like you to, um, well, showcase that you understand uh, the compromise that you guys are taking or not in efficiency. Hi, this is the engineering design review of the electrical subsection of IIT Rorke Motorsport. This team had a very good low voltage system uh, and they made up uh, Simlink models to justify their component selection. Like it was really good, but um, it needs to be better explained on um, how the Simlink model works um, and well to justify better the results. So here are some takeaways that I would like you teams to keep in mind for next year. So first takeaway, the engineering design finals uh, is not about your design, but actually about the process and the understanding underneath. Um, judges like myself, we don't care. We're not supposed to care about if you uh, did it right. Uh, what we're looking for is if you do it wrong, maybe you have a great explanation on why you do it wrong. Uh, and like, this is what we are looking for. Uh, like, uh, we're aware that budgets uh, are not the same for every team. And um, like, sometimes to do it right, it costs a lot more. So uh, don't feel a disadvantage. Um, by your budget. Um, another takeaway is that you guys need to keep in mind that you are making a race car. Uh, to go fast, the, the, the powertrain of a race car shall be light, compact, efficient, 
coherent with the rest of the race car. So uh, let's say you have a big aero package, you can uh, not have a small um, a small powertrain uh, because uh, it will require more energy, more power to, to go fast. Um, the powertrain needs to be reliable and to showcase that it's reliable, it needs to be simple and tested and it needs to be grippy. Uh, so this is an area where there's interface with suspension uh, and aero and many other subsystem, but um, like a high, very powerful race car would need, um, well, more um, wheels, uh, to be driven uh, to maximize their grip. Keep that in mind. And like the more powerful is the car, um, the more it well, the, the more power it needs to transfer to the road. So um, now, in regards of, I'll give you things that help you demonstrate to me that you understand. Um, so there is in system engineering something called the V-diagram. It's a process that is used commonly to, um, well, to showcase, uh, well, to engineering systems properly. Uh, and using this V-diagram uh, allows me, allows a team to communicate that you understand what needs to be done. So I recommend all the teams to take a look on, at the wiki page of uh, V diagrams uh, in system engineering. Uh, a quick summary is that teams shall start by setting up goals, having high level requirements, uh, and then make hand calculations of how it should be done. And then you make a design, you test, you simulate it, and then you iterate. Uh, and then you validate um, like that you met your goals. Um, so this is the basics of the V diagram. Uh, it's often overlooked among the teams uh, and it would allow us judges to um, well score you better because it would show us that you understand or not uh, what you're doing. And so something that does not show us if you understand or not uh, is, well, just using the data sheet or tables that are in, in uh, components that you buy. Uh, a common example is uh, with a fusing, if you buy a 100 amps fuse, it will not blow at 125. It will blow according to how much current is drawn. Um, so, um, after a certain period of time. Uh, so the intent of a fusing is a last resort to um, protect your wires and components. Uh, and um, so it, fusing is very tricky, but the fact that the teams overlook it means that um, the teams often don't understand um, like how, well, the intent of a fusing. Another thing that uh, shows um, a lack of understanding is adding features to a car. Um, so to go fast, the car does not need to, uh, to have a Kalman filter to estimate the state of health of a battery uh, or like um, active balancing. These are features that um, if added to a car, it shows that you don't understand what it's required to go fast. Um, so be very, very careful of adding these kind of features that look, that you think that would improve your design, but that just give a negative impression of what you guys are doing. Lastly, a simulation does not show us judges that you understand what you're doing. It just shows that you're able to do a simulation. Um, so try to counter verify a simulation with a hand calculation. Uh, and so that would be, that would allow you teams to score much better. Overall, great job. I'm very impressed by, by what you guys have been doing. Um, 
I'm sure that like I envision very high success for you all. Bye. Um, so hats off to all of you and good luck.